Docomo is developing two new features in OpenStack to open a vPromise and Docker projects with other members in the community. So at first I'll explain you the overall scenario of our two demos. We have an NFB system. So we have an administrator, OpenStack, and VNF managers, the application managers. And as most telco applications are in active standby redundant mode, we have two VMs running on three servers. Now, what the administrator will do, it will send a maintenance instruction. In this demo, we are using Doctor to perform automated maintenance tasks. After OpenStack receives the maintenance instruction, it, by means of OpenNFD Promise and OpenStack Blazor, performs a reservation of a single host. The reason is, before doing a maintenance, we need to migrate virtual machines running on a particular server to a different one so that we can perform maintenance tasks on that particular server. So the second step is OpenStack by using OpenStack Blazor will perform a reservation. After that, as the core feature of Doctor is to send a very quick notification from OpenStack to an application manager, it will send a maintenance instruction or notification to the VNF manager. Now here, the scenario that I'll show is the maintenance instruction was for server one. And this is server one, on top of which an active node is running. So after receiving the maintenance instruction, the manager will switch from active to standby. Now this standby will become the new active node, and this active node will not be necessary anymore. So after that, I can migrate or evacuate this active node to the reserved server I did to OPNFB, Promise, and OpenStack Blaze. So this is the operation GUI of Promise and OpenStack Blazor. So I'll perform a resource reservation for a server in order to support the evacuation of a maintenance node. So what I just did, I sent a reservation request to OpenStack Blazor to reserve one server from one minute from now. Now if I check the time, it is 3.23 UTC and the reservation has been done so that this server can be allocated to a particular use from 3.24. So after this reservation request, Blazor is sending me the reservation response whether it was successful or not. So if I look at it, the reservation was created at this time and the ID of this reservation is this and without this ID you cannot use that reserve node. So someone who wishes to use that reserve node need to have this ID which we will hand over to that particular user. And it also shows as I explained before from when the reserve server can be used. So what I have showed you today with this an operator can perform fully automated maintenance operation on their NFB infrastructure.